Hey, I'm Juan Esteban Garcia, and in this video, I will be showing you how to send and receive WhatsApp messages using the new WhatsApp Business API, more specifically, the cloud version. In my previous video, I explained a lot of different concepts about this new WhatsApp Business API because I know that there's still a lot of confusion out there and some of the concepts were not very clear and so I encourage you to watch that video because it will put you into context and it will explain a lot of things that we will be discussing in this video. However, if you're ready to get started, let's dive right into this. Oh, and one thing before I forget, I know that some of you are not technical and so for those of you who are not developers or do not have any experience writing code, I will be preparing another video in which I will be showing you how to leverage this new tool in your business and how to start sending text messages without having to write a single line of code. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's start by visiting the WhatsApp Business API documentation and you can see that, that here I'm looking at the Cloud API documentation and there are actually a lot of useful links that you will find here. So I encourage you to check it out if you are developing any kind of app uh, using the WhatsApp Business API. So if I go to the overview page, uh, you see that, well, it tells you a lot of different things and it tells you, for example, that they use the Facebook Graph API for all of this. And the first thing that I want you to know is that the good news is that in this Cloud API version, you actually can use their infrastructure and you won't have to worry about setting up or installing any servers yourself or maintaining them, no. You can just use the cloud version and it will do everything for you using their own infrastructure, which is definitely a lot more robust than ours. So if I click here where it says get started, uh, let's start by looking at this first item and you see that in order to follow along, in order to do what I'm going to show you in this video, you need to be registered as a Meta developer. And it's pretty simple to create an account on Facebook. I mean, a developer account, you just go to developers.facebook.com and this is what you are going to see. If you don't have a developer account, it should be pretty easy to set that up. You just need to accept some terms of services and it will also ask you to enable two-factor authentication for your account, which should be pretty easy to do. And once you do that, you just go to the My Apps page and we're going to create a new app. And the first thing that you have to do is uh, choose the business app type and we're going to enter here a name. So it's going to be Binix Code YouTube app. Let's call it like this. I mean, it can be anything you want, to be honest. And you see that a business account is optional. But one thing that you should know is that in order to go live and in order to be able to send any WhatsApp messages to any number in the planet, you need to have a business account and also well, you need to have a production phone number. Those are basically the two things that you will need. But uh, for the sake of this video, you should be able to follow along just using the, the test account that it will create for you. In my case, since I already have a, a, a business set up, I'm just going to use mine. But again, you can, if you don't select any business, it will simply create one for you. All right, so let's go to the next page. It will take a few seconds while it sets up your account in their servers and the first thing that you're going to see is that we are going to set up the whatsapp integration and so you see that out of the box by the way if you don't see a temporary access token here it may be because you recently created a developer account and it takes at least 60 minutes to set it up and like to set up everything that you need in order to use this developer account. So just keep that in mind if you don't see anything here. And all right, so you see that it creates a phone, a test phone number for you. So in this case, this is actually the one that I am going to use. And also uh, you can add recipient phone numbers and it's pretty easy. So let's actually start doing this. The first thing that you're going to need is a recipient phone number because, well, that will be a number that you will use for testing purposes. In this case, since we haven't uh, gone live yet, since this is not in production mode, we have up to five numbers that we can add uh, for testing purposes. 
and if you're going to add a number you have to verify it first so how do you do that well in this case if I click here I will just type my phone number in my cases I already verified it I don't have to do it again but basically you just verify your number you put it here you will then get a text message such as this one I mean a whatsapp message with a code and then you just put the code and it will let you start sending and receiving text messages from that number so I'm not going to do that as you can see I already verified it so I'm just going to choose this one and you see that it's as simple as that if I let, let me actually open whatsapp here and if I click here where it says send text message you see that it sends me a message immediately and it says welcome and congratulations hello world this message demonstrates your ability to send a message notification from whatsapp pretty cool and you see that here in this case it is using a template called hello world and that's why it already has like all this all this text in place now uh, if i also take this command and i run it here you see that it also works and let me actually double check yeah you see that i that i see the message twice which means that that i was able to receive it but for our purposes it will be a lot easier to use postman so i'm just going to click where it says run in postman and the first thing that i will do is well if you don't have a postman account it will ask you to create one in my case i'm already logged in in my in my account and so i'm just going to choose any label here i'm actually going to use this one it doesn't really matter and i'm going to pick this workspace and for those of you who do not know postman it's a very useful tool uh, that you can use for like developing apis or for testing apis and so this is definitely something that you will be using quite frequently if you are uh, using whatsapp business api okay so as you can see facebook took the time to set up a lot of different sample endpoints and like sample requests and so this is definitely going to save us a lot of time which is pretty cool so i don't want to use i mean as you can see i'm using the web version but quite frankly i like the desktop version better so let me actually close all these tabs don't save anything and as you can see i have three cloud apis i mean it's only because i was also uh, recording a spanish version of this api so let's focus on this one all right so if i go to environments you will see that that there that there are three environments in my case there are three because i have three apis and so here is where you will tweak this value so for example i don't know let's say let's say that i want to change let me actually go back to where i was here and if i want to copy let's say this phone number id then this is the one that i would put here yeah i'm going to put this one no actually i'm going to use the test number because you see that i already validated another number uh, and so i mean i can use that one but for this video i'm just going to use this one so i'm going to leave it like this and i'm also going to grab this temporary access code and put it here awesome and the recipient phone number i'm going to use this one so i'm just going to paste the number here as you can see it was already there i'm gonna hit save and now if i go to get started send a test message you will see well you will see that this is red and by the way as soon as you come back to environment and enable this environment that i just created you see that it turns orange and now well let's do the same experiment awesome so you see that that it does work pretty cool and one thing that i want you to know is that we're using a template and so if i come here to where it says create your own message template you will see that we have different versions of this hello world and also like for example if we if we were to use sample chipping confirmation I mean, i'm not going to use any of those i'm just going to stick to to the one that you're seeing here and you see that you can create like even different uh, translations of the same message and one thing that i want you to keep in mind is that in order to start a conversation uh, with someone let's say that we haven't received any 
uh, messages from a particular user, if you want to initiate a conversation with that person, you will have to use a message template. So that's something that you will have to keep in mind. However, after that person replies to you, you are able to send any kind of message that you want. And so let's, uh, let me actually show you. If I try to send a text message, and let me actually go here to reference, messages and um, let me go here to examples if I grab this payload and I put it here you are going to see that well let me actually do this let me copy this variable put it here then I'm also going to remove the rest and so I'm going to try to send a text message. And the thing is that, I mean, actually, like in my case, it will work because I already, uh, like I, I already was using this number for testing purposes prior to this video. But if you try to send this kind of message without the user having first send you any message, then you're just going to get an error. So in this case, let's actually do this. Hey. How's it going? Pretty casual. Now, if I send this, it'll work. And you see that it lets you send a text message. But again, if you try to do it without the user uh, sending, a, sending you a message first, it's not gonna work. So I do want you to keep that in mind. All right, so let's talk now about receiving text messages. Because we know now how to send text messages but let's focus on receiving them because it will be pretty cool if we can get any kind of notification every time someone sends us a message. So how do you do that? So you just come here to where it says configuration and we're going to configure something called a webhook. And in case you don't know what a webhook is, it's simply like a fancy way of getting alerts and notifications when a specific event happens. So let's say that, for example, I have an e-commerce store and so one place an order in my system, then it will be pretty cool if I get a notification saying, hey, someone just placed an order, or hey, someone just made a payment, or hey, someone requested a refund, or your order was already chipped, stuff like that. And so we want to enable notifications and we want to enable webhooks when someone sends a text, when someone sends us a text message. So I'm going to click here in the help icon and it is going to take me to this page and we're going to use a very cool tool called Glitch. And basically Glitch lets you test uh, your API. And so I'm going to click here where it says Remix on Glitch and you will see that, well, in order to, to do what I'm going to do, you'll probably need to have an account. And so, well, it's pretty easy to uh, to set up an account and once you have your account you'll see the first thing that you will encounter is this code that is basically a very simple API it has two endpoints and uh, one is a post endpoint uh, under slash webhook and the same thing with a get endpoint under slash webhook so pretty easy and one thing that you will need to do is you'll have to set up an environment variable and actually as you can see I have to click first where it says Remix because I need to create a, my own copy of this server, not of this server, of this code. And you see that, that here I have the option to change uh, these two tokens. In this case, we're going to update the verified token. And by the way, this token is just a way for WhatsApp, I mean, for you to know that the notifications that you are getting are actually coming from Facebook because if someone finds out about this URL, they will be able to make manual notifications and then your servers will be confused thinking that someone is sending you messages when in reality you're just being attacked by someone. And so let's put some random token here, something like Phoenix code uh, YouTube uh, 349 exclamation mark. This is what I'm going to use because as you can see, I am very creative and, and not funny. <laughs> and also uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to configure the webhook and I'm going to paste the verify token first. And then what I'm gonna do is 
I'm going to click here where it says share and I'm going to grab this link and put it here and I'm going to add a slash webhook. So if I do this, let me actually here click where it says webhooks and if I click here verify and save, you see that it says webhook verify because that basically means that, that Facebook made a request to this URL and passed this verify token and it worked. So it's as simple as that. And now what we're gonna do is click here where it says webhooks and I'm going to subscribe to these notifications, to this event. So basically every time something related to a message happens, you are going to get a webhook uh, in the URL that we provided Facebook before. So I'm going to click here where it says subscribe and we should be all set. So let's actually give this a try. If I come here, let me clear the logs, the logs, so I'm going to click here and now I'm going to send a test message. So, hey, it's me. And you see that I immediately get a notification and you see that there's a message. The message has a, a message ID and here's the body. It says, hey, it's me. And so at this point, like we can literally have like some app that will display all the messages that we are receiving and then any person will be able to reply to those messages. So it's pretty cool. And you see that, for example, it, if I send a text message, let me send a, a text message times two. All right. And now I'm going to clear the logs. And I want you to know that if I click here where it says, well, if I open my WhatsApp conversation, as soon as I open it, it, it and I get a notification that says that the message was read. So this is basically the way you can like tell whether or not someone has read your message. So you, you also get a notification when that happens. And if I reply, okay, cool. You see that I also get the other notification with the text message. So as you can see, we are able to send and receive WhatsApp messages using this new API. Okay, so at this point, you know full well how to send and receive text messages, but the last thing that I want to tell you is that in order to go live, in order to go to production, you will need to set up a production phone number. And so basically the way you do that is that, uh, as you can see here, it says when you're ready to use your app for production use case, you need to use your own phone number to send messages to your users. And here it has the instructions on how to do that. It's pretty easy to do it. I already tested it myself. It works really well. And only when you have a production phone number, you, are, you have the ability to send messages to any number in the planet. So I just want you to keep that in mind because uh, while you are in tested mode, you are only able to send messages to up to five confirmed and verified phone numbers. But if you want to send messages to any number, you will have to use a production phone number. So that's it for now. And I want to thank you for sticking till the end of this video. I will be showing you a lot of different things during the next few days. So I want you to subscribe to this channel because I will be posting more videos very soon. Thank you so much.